Hello and welcome to the PMOD introductory series. In this short video we will provide a brief overview of the PMOD workflow for dosimetry pre-processing. The aim of radio tracer dosimetry is to determine the maximum allowable dose. Dose estimation requires the accumulated radioactive decays in the critical organs from the time of injection until no activity is left. This task is supported by PMOD. The effective dose per unit injected activity is then estimated by dedicated programs such as Olinda or IDAC. PMOD supports all relevant pre-processing steps. A sequence of static images can be combined into a dynamic series with common decay correction. After organ outlining, the activity time course is calculated and transferred to the modeling tool. There, decay correction is undone and the curve integral calculated. Finally, the accumulated organ activities are readily exported into files directly usable by Olinda or IDAC. This process will be illustrated in the following demo using human whole body PET data. The 10 sequentially acquired static series are loaded into the view tool. The merging tool for combining them into a dynamic series is opened. First, the series are brought into chronological order by acquisition time sorting. Decay correction to a common time is enabled and a dynamic sequence is created. On top of this new series, VOIs of the relevant organs are manually defined on this new series as follows. For each organ, a definition is selected from the dosimetry list. Then its boundaries are outlined using an appropriate contouring method. The example shows isocontouring of the liver. After the organs have been defined, their uptake over time is calculated. Note that for this whole body example, the timing of the organs for each organ differs slightly depending on their respective bed position. These offsets are calculated by PMOD in order to ensure accurate timing. The uptake curves are then transferred to the modeling tool and opened in a specific model for calculation of the accumulated organ activity. The model undoes decay correction, multiplies by VOI volume and shows the resulting activity in the organ over time. This curve is then integrated using appropriate options for interpolation between the measurements and extrapolation to infinity. The resulting accumulated activity is adjusted to the standard organ size and normalized by the injected dose. This procedure is applied to the curves of all organs. Finally, the normalized accumulated activities are exported into a file which can be loaded in Olinda EXM or IDAC2. In summary, PMOD supports a convenient dosimetry pre-processing workflow, interfacing directly to well-known dosimetry programs. Trial installations are available to test the full functionality of PMOD and its tools. Please visit our website to learn more about the dosimetry pre-processing workflow and other products from PMOD Technologies. Thank you for your attention.